everybody! It's been a while since I actually did a video, so I apologize for that. But today I ended up going to the mall, so doing my little mini haul that I did. So here we go! So first place I stopped, of course, Sephora. Love Sephora to pieces. So I needed to really pick up a new beauty blender, so the Sephora that I stopped at actually had the Pro Black Beauty Blender, which I am so happy about. The last time I was in that store, they did not have it, and they don't have it at the one that I normally go to in Modesto. So I'm super excited because my other one is starting to get a little gross and grungy and hunky. So, hooray! And then one of my friends in particular has been on my case because I don't have this palette. So, my dear, dear Zoe, I finally bought it. <laughs> Every time I go to buy this palette, whenever I have the money to actually buy it, they are sold out. They have been for the last four months. And whenever I don't have the money to buy it, they magically have it in stock. And I'm not super impressed with the semi-sweet palette. Uh, I prefer this one over the colors that are in the second palette. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. I can't wait to play with this. It's going to be awesome. Um... I really, really wanted to pick up the jelly donut color of the Melted Lip uh, from Too Faced, but there were other things that I needed to pick up, so I'm going to wait on that. I do still have my um, Melted Fig and my Melted Candy. I love them to pieces, so I will be eventually buying the Melted Jelly Donut. Cannot wait to get that because it's an amazing fuchsia pink. And then the lady that checked me out at Sephora gave me three lovely little fragrance samples. Uh, Prada Candy Floral, Gucci Guilty Diamonds, and the new Tory Burch. So can't wait to open these up, see what they smell like. It's going to be fantastic. And I went into Sephora hoping to find the Urban Decay Moon Dust and Solstice, which they did not have, but luckily... I was able to find it at the Urban Decay kiosk in the Macy's where I went. So they had it. So I did buy that. So now I have the two Moon Dust colors that I really, really wanted. It's this really pretty kind of pinkish purple shimmer with this color changing like bluish green metallic y shift glitter that's super, super pretty. Can't wait to play with it. This is kind of what it does. Not super. Like I said, I apologize. My really, really crappy lighting right now. So I'll pick that up. I love the packaging, and they're so, so, so easy to pop out and put into a um, a customized little palette, which I do have. So this is going to get popped in with my other one that I bought, Ether Color. Can't wait to play with that, too. And the, the little packaging so super cute, and it's got the nice little sticker on there that kind of gives you the same color and all of that kind of stuff. So... Yay! Got my Urban Decay fix. Then I went into MAC and spent way too much money in MAC. But not way too much money to say, anyway. So I picked up two new lipsticks that I've been looking at for a while. And they actually had one of them back in stock, which everybody's been buying it because it's Kylie Jenner color. Um, so I picked up the Pink Plaid. It's amazing. It looks fantastic. Cannot wait. It's a matte color. But it's a matte pale pink, so it looks super, super pretty, and it's a blue base color. It's really, really nice. I love it. Can't always play with it. And I picked up Brave. It's actually what I have on right now with my um, NYX, my NYX um, nude lip pencil. So, really, really nice nude brownish color. It looks super, super nice. Really nice. Love it. And since my Mac Spring Sheen blush is so at the end of its life, I just new blush. This one is called Desert Rose, and it's really, really pretty. It'll look really, really nice for Vegas this summer. It's kind of this terracotta brown, reddish pink, dusty rose. It's really nice. It's got there. It's really, really nice. It'll look really nice with my skin tone. I don't block it out. So it's really, really nice. Kind of rosy, mauvey, dusty color. Really nice and deserty. 
looks fantastic in the desert this summer. And I picked up two more eyeshadows, which, now that I kind of think about it, well, they're not really the same as, as my Moon Dash shadow, so I don't feel so guilty. But I picked up two eyeshadows from MAC. This one is called Vex. And in here, in the pan, let me get it open, it's kind of this ghostly, ashy gray, but you can see it's got a little bit of like a shimmer shift to it. And when you put it on, it's this really, really pretty pink, bluish shift. Can't really tell in my hand when I swatch it, but it's super, super pretty. Absolutely love it. And this, combined with Trax, which is the other one I bought, is another one. Vex, the one that I just showed you, it's listed as a frost color. And then this one, the Trax, is listed as a velvet color. But this, it's kind of like a coppery, purpley, with red shimmer, glittery bits in it. And on the finger, you can not really see it. Like I said, my lighting is really, really bad. But mixed, this is kind of like a, a shimmery, great purple kind of color. It's really, really pretty. And the two of them mixed together makes for a really, really pretty effect. And looks and it'll, it'll look really, really good with my green eyes. So, cannot wait to play with those. I picked up that. Stopped at Old Navy, picked up some more t-shirts because they have the best t-shirts ever. If you buy two or more, I think they're like $7.50 a piece. These, I wear these to work all the time. <laughs> I buy them in the 2XL and I swim in them. I swim in them and they're so comfortable and they're lightweight. I either wear them to work or I sleep in them. They're fantastic. I love them. So I bought it in another one in this kind of charcoal -y gray color because I love it. Doesn't doesn't allow for things to show up on it when I'm at work like coffee. And then oh that one's that one's actually kind of like a, a like heather blue color. This one's the charcoal gray. It's really nice. I love the charcoal gray one. Picked up one in black because I always need black for where I work. I always end up coming home covered in coffee. So hey. And then this one I picked up. It's attached to my Mac bag. Is kind of a another heather color but it's white with blue and gray kind of heather stripies in it so really nice the ones that I saw so picked up some some more shirts for work slash pajamas to sleep in so love them old navy you're awesome love you and the trips to the mall would not be complete without me going to lush I love the lush habit I spend entirely way too much money picked up a whole bunch of lovely little things at Lush today. Picked up Pickle Baby Bot. It smells so good. This is the first time I've actually smelled this and I liked how it smells. The last two times that I've actually gone in store, it just it hasn't smelled like chamomile and lavender. It's had a really, really weird kind of smell to it. So this is the first time that it's actually smelled really nice. So cannot wait for the stressful days, probably next weekend. Saturday and Sunday at work, after work. Um, my little preview for the spring line that's going to come out next week in store. Can't wait! Um, the lovely, I think her name was Audrey or Aubrey. She was absolutely fantastic. She sent me home with quite a few lovely little samples, like the sea vegetable soap. I love how this stuff smells. It's amazing. Can't wait to use it. Um, ooh, my sunny side bubble bar, because apparently using this lovely little glitter bomb smells like, smells like lemons and orange and citrus and amazing mess, and it's covered in glitter, so how can I not love it? Using that with the big blue bath bomb, apparently it's supposed to do wonderful little mermaidy type things. I've, I've heard from multiple sources that that is called mermaid water. So I cannot wait for when I feel like being a little mermaid. Got another massage bar. This one's called Therapy. 
And this one will be really, really good for when I come home from work because then I just want to sit and rub my feet. Or make my mom rub my feet. <laughs> Can't wait to use that. Pick up. Oh, pop in the bath bubble bar. This one smells really, really nice. It's a really nice floral fragrance. Um, not entirely sure which floral aspects it has to it, but it smells like it's got some lavender in it. It smells absolutely fantastic. I love how it smells. So I ended up getting the blue one with the little white daisy on top. It had a couple different colors. My big blue bath bomb. Love it. it smells like the ocean. So good. Smells like the ocean. It's got seaweed. Oh, and now there's seaweed all over me. Mmm, see. Oh, my new shampoo bar. These they just released. Cannot wait to try it. This one's the Montebuono. And it's super, super citrusy, and it's supposed to be fantastic for volume, for shine, cleansing, all of that. And it's supposed to um, do wonders to help clean off a congested scalp, which. I will definitely have because I I teased and I I angered my hair today. <laughs> There's a lot of teasing and here's where going on in this right now, so it will ve be very very happy with this because it smells absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Nate, I smelled the other ones. The other one that I was really interested in was the Lullaby. It's pink and it's got chamomile and lavender in it. It smelled all right. It didn't smell exactly how I was thinking it was going to smell. I'll probably end up trying it sometime in the future, but I really liked how this one smelled. It smells like citrus and happy and amazing and clean. Cannot wait to try it. The other one that I smelled that smelled really, really good and really citrusy was the Brazilian. Brazilian. It was orange and grapefruit and all sorts of other things like that from the jungle. So it smelled really good. Can't wait to try that one. That's totally my peppy. He's my favorite Muppet, by the way, and my Betty Page, and Mike Wazowski. <laughs> and then, um, oh, here. Yeah. Here's my black stocking body tent bar. I love this stuff. Amazing. Um, the other day, I used my Shimmy Shimmy bar, which is the exact same shape, but it is a white iridescent shimmer to it with glitter in it and that it looks absolutely fantastic especially in the winter it has this wonderful um shimmer radiance to it where this one is perfect for the summer because it's it's supposed to be a bronzer so that it does fantastic things i cannot wait to put this all over when i go to vegas in the summer it's gonna be fantastic especially with the dress that i bought I'm like, amazing, because I'm going to be nice and tan. And this kind of reminds me of chocolate. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head what it is. It's supposed to smell like, but it smells like chocolate and cinnamon and amazingness. And it has a fantastic tint to it. So I know I've seen other things from like the Body Shop and Victoria's Secret. Like they're bronzing kind of um, liquids and things like that for the summer. This is a wonderful alternative, and I, it was like 11 bucks, so can't go wrong. Fantastic. Can't go wrong with Lush. I love Lush. Um, the samples that the lovely, lovely lady at Lush sent home with me. Rose Argan Body Conditioner. This stuff is so, so amazing. I ended up getting a little sample of it um, when I bought my mom's Valentine's Day gift from Lush. It came with a little deluxe sample of it in that. And I actually found out about it because the woman that helped me at the Lush store in Pleasanton actually demoed it on the back of my hand. And I could not stop, like, groping the back of my hand all day. I was, I'm probably, I'm, I'm fairly certain that everyone in the Pleasanton Mall thought I was a creep because I just kept doing this, like, Gollum. <laughs> and then I kept smelling the back of my hand. So I'm pretty sure that they thought I was weird. But it smells amazing. It's got the same scent as any of their Rose Jam products. So their Rose Jam Bubble Rune. They have a Rose Jam Shower Gel that they 
bring out at certain times of the year. Anything that is kind of their rose jam scent, this is the same scent. And it smells amazing. It's rosy, it's sweet, it's it just, ah, oh, it's amazing. And it does such wonderful things for your skin. Oh, I cannot wait. And I definitely know I will end up buying a big bottle, a big pot of it at some point. But yeah, it's amazing. I love it. Um, pop. Ooh. Popcorn lip scrub. This stuff is amazing. This it smells. It smells like um. What does it smell like? It smells like kettle corn. I love it. And actually, this is actually the first product from Lush that I actually was introduced to that started this whole madness off. And it was actually for my cousin's wedding last summer. Hillary, this is all thanks to you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> she actually had, I believe it was the popcorn lip scrub that she actually handed out to all of us as I was getting various people ready for the wedding with their makeup. Um, she handed this out for everybody to use and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. There's this store, this exact same stores in the, the mall in Fresno. And I was just like, oh, oh okay. Okay. This has to be done now. <laughs> so that's where this whole thing started off. It's because of that product right there. And it's amazing. It's fantastic. Um, picked up what did I get sexy peel this stuff is amazing it's labeled as a zesty citrus with gentle scrubbing bits of fruit peel oh my goodness she had just pulled this out of the box this smells like a citrus smoothie heaven she just pulled the big soap thing out of the box that it got shipped in it was literally like this big she pulled it out of the box, she walked over to me, and she stuck it under my nose, and she said, take a whiff of this. Like citrus, this is what it is all about. And <laughs> I was sold. Eat it. Sold. So she, ch she chopped off a little five, six dollar chunk for me, so. Stuff smells amazing. I have so many chunks of soap that it's going to take a while before we eventually get to this. <laughs> But it smells absolutely amazing. So good. Sexy peel. Um, and then I, I'm looking for new, a new skincare regimen for my face and my body. Because my Clairsonic Liquid Cleanser, I'm actually almost out of it. And I've been waiting to get down to the very last of it and trying to decide what I was going to do. So I ended up asking... The woman that helped me, the lovely, lovely young woman at Lush helped me. She helped me with um, deciding and demoing since she demoed the Coal Face Deep Cleansing Complexion for normal to oily skin. It's got charcoal bits in it. It's, it's this really pretty kind of shimmery black. She said that this actually people have used with their Clairsonic um, cleansing wand bar machinis um and she said that it's actually it's it works really well with clairsonics so i bought a little chunk of this and then for the days that i don't want to actually <laughs> use my clairsonic or i'm lazy and i just wash my face at the sink you know, jump in the shower or whatever um i got some of the let the good times roll face wash this stuff smells the only way I can really describe it is it, it reminds me of like yellow cupcakes, like yellow cakes. It smells really nice. It's, it's a polenta wheat cleanser. It's polenta wheat. It's, it's polenta and it's uh, maize and it's sweet and salty popcorn-y. So it smells kind of the same as the popcorn lip scrub. It smells like caramel corn. It smells like yellow cupcakes. It kind of smells like, like a Twinkie almost. So smells really nice. Comes in a roll. You're, oh, and it's even got little bits of popcorn in it. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, you just take a little tiny, like, pea-sized bit off, put it under the water, make a little paste of it, and then scrub. And it's got some really nice, fine um, exfoliation bits in it, too. And the, the coal face does, too. So 
either way I'll get the exfoliation because I do have some problem areas in my t-zone underneath my chin I've actually got a little spot for the right here right there um so she said that those will probably be the the better options for me and then I picked up a face moisturizer I picked up celestial this is the the one of the three that she tried on me I love how this stuff smelled it smells absolutely light and fruity and and florally and fantastic it's a little bit heavier moisturizer um which I'm used to because of the Sephora 24 hour instant moisturizer but um just wanting to try some new things see um maybe use this as like a night cream when I wash my face just because when I come home from work I usually take my shower um, it kind of defeats the purpose for me to take a shower before I go to work because I end up coming home covered and everything and I have to take a shower anyway. So that way I just wash everything off, relax, um, before I go to bed. So, probably going to be my new routine. So, can't wait to try everything. Um, I know, long time, long time, no, no videos. Oh my gosh, this is a monster video, isn't it? It's like 21 minutes long. Sorry about that everybody but it was good good trip um can't wait to see you guys can't wait to try out show new videos and things like that and hopefully i'll have some more stuff for you guys next week because i'm taking the week off from work so i'll have some more stuff for you guys can't wait to see you guys go okay everybody just go make the world prettier prettier place and i can't speak today bye guys